Welcome to my Accelerate session on protecting your backup data from ransomware. I'm David Huskisson, the Solutions Lead for Pure's Data Protection Solutions. The fact that there is no, organ there is no organization that is immune from a ransomware attack. There are some examples of specific attacks on this slide, but you could put together a new slide like this every week. And the problem isn't just limited to public organizations like government agencies, hospitals and schools. You hear more about these because they are often required to reveal the attack, but commercial organizations are just as subject to ransomware, and this ranges from the small business to global enterprises. Estimates are that over 200,000 organizations were subject to an attack in 2019, and that's a lot of organizations. Defense in depth is an approach to cybersecurity in which a series of defensive mechanisms are layered in order to protect valuable data and information. If one mechanism fails, another steps up immediately to thwart an attack. The question I'd like to ask you to think about, though, is what happens when your defense in depth fails? We know it does fail because if it didn't, there wouldn't be all of those examples that I showed on the previous slide. So here's your answer. You need to make sure you have a reliable, robust data protection strategy so that if the worst comes to the worst, you can recover. So here's the bad news. The bad guys know that backups are your last line of defense. And if you can successfully recover, you won't pay the ransom. So the hackers are now deliberately targeting backup copies. No backup, no recovery, have to pay ransom. And that's exactly what they want. In fact, the average hacker spends over 200 days on your network before they encrypt anything. That's over half a year. Why do they spend so much time? because they're trying to gain access to as many systems as possible, including your backups. So how does this happen? There's a misconception that a ransomware attack is just somebody clicking on a link and unleashing some software that goes out and encrypts your data. That's really not the case. The initial attack is used to gain entry to your network. That's step one. The hacker or hackers then spend a good deal of time crawling around your network. The flowchart on this slide outlines a specific attack from RIAC, but the pattern is similar. I'm not going to walk through all of the steps, but the goal here is that hackers are looking for access. You can see the, at the orange arrows where they're compromising credentials, and this is the key to their attack. And in fact, there are many hacker tools designed specifically to attack directory services to gain credentials. Once they have the right credentials, they can do anything. A lot of vendors like to talk about immutable copies, but that just means they're read-only and can't be deleted using your normal means. But with the right credentials, you can delete whatever you like. To use a simple comparison, you could have an expensive sports car with the best anti-theft system that money can buy, but if you have your keys or a copy of them, I can still steal your car. Credentials override any defenses. So if you're attacked by ransomware, what do you need to recover? There are two main things. One is you need viable, usable data copies that weren't impacted by the attack. But how do you ensure you have those? The second is that you need a fast, scalable, re fa scalable recovery. A ransomware attack is not a typical data recovery scenario where you're having to restore a few files. You might need to restore all of your files, databases as well. And it's not uncommon for a database restore to take multiple hours, sometimes more than an entire day. So now imagine you didn't have one database to recover, but 50 or 100. You can see how important recovery speed becomes in a ransomware situation. And remember, every minute that your applications aren't available, it's costing your organization money. Flashblade is a scalable, easy to use, all flash storage device that supports file and object protocols and can be used as a backup target. Flashblade provides fast backup and even faster restore. Unlike legacy backup appliances that perform well with backups, but are very slow when it comes to recovery, Flashblade is actually faster recovering data than it is with backup, which is just what you need in a ransomware scenario. It has a, an impressive total storage capacity of 10 petabytes and can perform read 
at a maximum speed of 270 terabytes an hour. That's a lot of recovery. And unlike backup appliances, it doesn't get slower as the device fills up. So now we know that FlashBlade is fast, but how does it protect your backup copies? FlashBlade has a feature called Safe Mode Snapshots. These are immutable snapshots, but they offer a lot more. The key difference is the admin account can't delete them. That's right. Even if the hacker gets all of, all of your admin credentials, they still can't delete the snapshots that are protecting your backup. To go back to our early analogy, it's like I have your car keys, but I can't start the car. This feature allows you to protect both backup data sets and backup metadata, things like your backup catalog that you'll need to run recoveries. Safe mode snapshots are created based on a policy that is set up only by a designated contact or contacts at your organization in conjunction with pure support. In order to make safe mode snapshots accessible after an attack, the designated contact needs to work with pure support. You choose these contacts up front. I don't want to reveal too many details in this session, but we'd obviously be happy to have one-to-one -one discussions. Safe mode snapshots are included at no additional charge with FlashBlade, though their use will consume more storage space as all snapshots do over time. The backup process is quite simple. You run your normal backup jobs and make sure that backup metadata is also stored on FlashBlade. A safe mode snapshot is then taken that contains both backup data and metadata. Recovering with safe mode snapshots involves a few steps. Keep in mind that the assumption here is that you've had a ransomware attack. You don't need safe mode snapshots for a re regular recovery. Step one is to delete your compromised encrypted backup data. Step two will be to reinstall your backup software if your backup software environment has been impacted along with your backup data. Step three is to point your backup software at the metadata that's stored in the safe mode snapshot. Then in step four, you can begin your recovery processes, which will benefit from the speed of FlashBlade. So let's look at the benefits you can derive from FlashBlade. These all derive from core pure values. It starts with simple is smart. The safe mode snapshots that protect your backups are performed independently of admin actions. You set them and forget them. The second value is that fast matters, especially when you need to recover in a hurry. You get rapid, high capacity recover from all flash storage, and it works with your current data protection tools as well, meaning deployment is fast. And finally, like all pure products, FlashBlade is future-proof. All future features and enhancements are included at no charge with current support. And FlashBlade features have non-disruptive upgrades and expansion, unlike legacy backup appliances. You'll never face another forklift upgrade again. So let me conclude. I really appreciate your attention. I've chosen three additional sessions that will help you understand our FlashBlade and Safe Mode snapshots can help you recover from ransomware. Enjoy the rest of the conference.